Hey everybody, I'm back. Today is October 8th, 2022. So my keyboard on my G7 7700 GeForce RTX laptop went dark. I would push a button and it would not light up. I have no clue how this got turned on, but I figured out how to solve the problem, but I turned it back on to show you guys what possibly may have happened if this happens to your keyboard? How do you get your RGB lights to start lighting back up when you push on the keys? You go over to Windows and you click on there. You click up in the search bar. It's at the top. This is what pops up and you search for Alienware Command Center. If you don't have that, you need to install it. Okay, mine came with it pre-installed. And then after that, you click on it. But what I decided to do was to pin it down to the taskbar. So no matter where you went into your command center from, whether you went from the search box or from your icon down here, you end up with this. You go up here to FX. And see where it says go dark and it's highlighted in that kind of dark gray color? Click that and it will turn it off. Okay, so let's test and see if it worked. I'm going to go to Google and I clicked in the search bar. I'm on YouTube and I'm just going to push keys. Okay, so... I fixed it. Now I'll leave this window here up and I'll show you what happens. We go back down here to the Alienware Command Center. I'm going to click go dark. And now I'm going to go back to Google. I'm going to click here in this box. Let's go down to the keyboard and watch. Okay, so I have no clue how that turned itself on, but let me go fix it because I love my RGB lights. So back in here to the command center, let's turn that off. I'm gonna close command center. I'm gonna go back to Windows here, click in my search box and look, it already lit up and also it solves that problem as well. Okay, so go dark even makes your RGB lights here also go off. Okay, so that's how you fix that. Now, second problem. If I were, let's say, down here and I would put my cursor up here and then I would go back down, it would make a noise. Okay, and it was annoying. Um, it just started doing this on its own, just making noises at random when I would select certain things. Now I'll give you an example over here. So if you click on your sound, if you change, what I'm about to show you obviously does not stop that noise. Okay, I believe that's not considered a notification. So it's not going to solve that problem. I don't know how you turn off the noise if you don't want it to make that noise when you adjust the volume. But how did I possibly get it to stop making noises when I would highlight a different icons and decide not to go into the screens? I went to settings and here is notifications. Over here is a drop down. You click on the drop down and allow notifications to play sounds, I unchecked that box. Now over here, there's the Alienware Command Center. I clicked on that button and it shows play a sound when a notification arrives. But I believe that because I went into the notification settings here, Again, to that drop down arrow, 
and over here to allow notifications to play sounds and uncheck that box that may have solved the problem. Okay, so if I find out that I am wrong and that did not work, I will come back on YouTube and I will make another video. And once I solve the problem, I'll tell you guys how to stop it. Okay, so yeah, I pretty much like my computers and laptops to be as silent as possible. No chimes, no beeps, no noises. And I got to thinking, well, on a cell phone, usually it's the sounds of the notifications that you're allowing for each app. So I thought maybe the laptop works the same way and it seems to be working. So let's test this again. Highlight this. Select that. Let's see what happens if I click it. That's just my mouse click. That's going to make noise. Regardless, so if I click this, that little chime or beep or whatever you call it is gone. Okay, so hopefully that solved my problem. Well, you guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Have a great day.